Hi everyone, today I thought I'd show you how I go about painting a black cow. And this animal is taking a little bit of a rest uh, amongst the gorse and heather up on Dartmoor. So it's actually going to be a cow that's lying down. And I'm beginning using a Burnt Umber Liquitex acrylic paint marker. And this allows me to put down paint lines very, very quickly, as you can see. And I don't have to keep repeatedly going back to the palette to refresh in the way that you would if you were using a brush. So there's the head of our cow. And then there are a few creases in the neck here. This is the line of the back. A little bit of a bump there and then the hip creates another lump in the back there and then the foreleg you can just see a suggestion of that elbow joint there and then there's a fold in the flesh as the the rest of the leg kind of tucks under the body And then, as I said, this animal's bedded down in the, the heather and grass, so I need to indicate that this cow isn't sat on a hard concrete floor. Um, there's lots of, lots of flowery plants encroaching on the, the lower line there, so we can't see that. OK, and then we'll pop in an indication of some plant life behind as well. So there we go, we've got the outline of our cow now. So just a quick check to see that everything looks okay. And the proportions don't look too bad, so I'm going to proceed by shading in much of the line work that I've done using the same burnt umber. And as I'm doing this, I'm also creating, or beginning to create, a sense of texture and I'm doing that by ensuring that for the most part the direction of the lines I'm putting down or the marks I'm putting down with the marker they tend to follow either the contours or the direction of the hair on the animal's body. Now you can see the marker is